Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on today's video, I want to apologize for my hair. I'm having a really bad hair day and I didn't know what to do with it. I think it's because I really need a haircut. I've got quite a lot of split ends at the moment, um, but it is what it is. So let's get on with the video. I'm going to be doing my, what month is it this month? February, I think, yep. Yeah. I'm doing my February empties today. So the first product that I used up this month was this Neutrogena Porefining Exfoliating Cleanser. I've had this for a little over a year now. This was a really great product for avoiding pimples and getting rid of them once I had them. And I generally um, use this every evening. I only used it once a day, but I really, really liked it. The next product that I used up this month was this Nature Intensive Moisturizing Night Cream. And the scent of this one is Rosewood Orange. I loved the smell of this one. And I got this around my birthday last year, which is in May. So I've had this for a little under a year. And I used it every night before I went to bed. So this lasted a really long time as well. And again, it's another really affordable, really great product. Next I used up the Simple Kind to Eyes Makeup Remover. I prefer this one over the micellar water. Generally people seem to prefer the micellar water, but I prefer this one because the micellar water stings my eyes and this one does not. However, you do get more product for the same price if you get the micellar water. I did intend to repurchase this, but I have actually purchased the Garnier Micellar Water instead just to try it out to see if I liked it. And I like that one just as much as this one. I wouldn't say that it's better, but it is cheaper and you get actually more product for your money. So um, I like them about the same amount, but I'm going to repurchase the Garnier one because you get more for less money. I used up one packet of makeup wipes. This one is the Protec brand. Um, I don't really look at the brands when I buy them. I just buy whichever one's cheapest when I'm there. Um, I wouldn't say that they're any better or worse than any other brand. They're pretty much all the same anyway. I used up one makeup item and it was a sample. It was my By Terry foundation sample. Um, this is the Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation. So it just came in this tiny little bottle. It did come with a pump, which is amazing for a sample. I did do a first impressions video on this foundation, which I will leave linked down below if you're interested. Basically, I did really like it, but I would not purchase it for the price. Then for my shower items, firstly, I used up this huge bottle of Pine Tar Sol Solution. This was prescribed to me by my doctor. She gave me two bottles and I finished the first bottle either last month or the month before. So this is the last one gone, finally. The smell of this is absolutely disgusting. Like, it it does a good job. It's meant to um, help with itching and things like that. And because I've got dermatitis and I get rashes on my neck and stuff, um, that's what this was for. And it did the job, but it smells so gross and I'm really glad that it's finished. Hopefully, as long as my rashes don't come back, I won't need to use this again. And the last product that I used up in February, I actually finished this morning, and it is the Lush Big Shampoo. This is a sea salt shampoo for basically for a big hair day. I got this because my hair is really fine and I wanted more volume and it smells amazing. But I will not be repurchasing it because it actually made my hair extremely tangly. And if you've seen a few of my previous videos, you might know that my hair is really tangly anyway. So I do not need any extra tangle. It made it really, really difficult to brush my hair every morning. I feel like actually the Lush shampoo and conditioner that I've been using recently have contributed to my split ends. I feel like my hair is not healthy at the moment, whereas before it was quite healthy. Which is unfortunate because I was really hoping that these products would be great and they did cost quite a lot of money so that is unfortunate but I am going to be trying out shampoos for fine hair because obviously because I have fine hair so hopefully they will be better for me. So that is everything that I've used up in the month of February. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I am uploading two videos a week at the moment on Mondays and Thursdays. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!